Good morning, kids. Today, we're taking a trip to the fire station. Mr. Flame is the fire chief, and he's going to show us around. Yay! Hooray! Okay, then, let's go. Hi, Mr. Flame is up in the office. Thanks. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, Mrs. Fisher. Hi, kids. Do you want to have a look around our fire station today? That's awesome. I'm going to show you everything. This office here is the dispatch center. It's usually manned by my colleagues. Hi kids! I take all the emergency calls and pass them on to the intervention team. I'm in radio contact with the individual firefighters and I can send reinforcements if they need it. Oh! Our fire station is on standby around the clock. That's why we have two beds here. From here, we can go straight out and I'll show you the helipad. This is our firefighting helicopter. We can use it on difficult to access fires, when we can't get close enough up to a fire with our trucks. Have any of you ever flown in a helicopter? Yeah, I have! I got rescued from a cable car by a helicopter once. It was quite dangerous. Oh yes, that must have been very exciting. Can I have a look inside the helicopter? I want to be a pilot when I grow up. Sure, you can take a look inside. Cool. And this is what you'd look like as a pilot. <laughs> now we'll go down to where the fire trucks are parked. Anyone who wants to can slide down the pole. Mrs. Fisher, you should set an example and slide down too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mrs. Fisher, if we find time, you should probably practice that a bit more. I want to show the kids our fire trucks. Can you drive them out? Sure, we'll do. Our big fire engine is in garage too. You need to stand back a bit further because the door is going to open up in a minute. Right, you can have a look in here. Here are the hoses and other very important tools. The fire station doesn't just get called when there's a fire. Does anyone know when else we get called into action? Yes, I do! When there's an accident! Yes, that's right. For example, we also free people who get trapped in their vehicles after an accident. Back here is where the hoses get attached. This vehicle has its own water tank. And here we can also attach this thick hose. If we use the necessary pump, we can also suck up water, for example, out of a pond or a river. Look out, Alex! You'll get sucked up there! Do you want to hop in the fire engine? Yeah! <laughs> here you can switch on the blue lights and the siren. So you can have a go putting out a fire by yourself, we're going over to our little practice area now. Try putting the fire in the windows out by spraying water directly on them. Just a few drops. <laughs> Yay! We put it out! The fire's all out! Great job! Now we're going back to the fire trucks again. First you can have a look at the big hose tower. After an operation, the hoses get hung up here so they don't go mouldy. Now I'll show you our big ladder truck. Anyone who isn't scared of heights can come up with me in the basket.
This is our newest truck. It's never been used in an operation. It has a strong winch in front, and in back a big foam cannon. We always use the foam cannon when we can't put the fire out with water, for example in vehicle fires. There are lots of firemen over there! Yeah, they're doing a drill. As part of the drill, they're going to test out the foam cannon. Just a moment, please. We've been doing this drill for about an hour now. Look! And this is a walkie-talkie! I'll press the button. Then, I can talk to the firemen. <laughs> oh man, what's going on? Oh, did you do that? Good grief! You can't mess around with the controls. Oh man! Now I'm not just wet, I'm covered in foam too! Ah, uh, oh man! Oh, sorry! I thought it was a walkie-talkie! It really looks like one! Yeah, I shouldn't have put it there. Anyway, now you know the foam cannon works! <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed our little video, we'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you feel like it, you can keep watching another one of our videos. Here are three to pick from. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.